Hello all, I have just finished um, Call of Cthulhu, right here, in the first one. Um, um, and I first read, I read all through uh, that, and yeah, that's it, and yeah. And um, it's really good, um, it was made, I think in, I don't know, um, I think it was, it was made in like 1917. Um, I'm not sure, um, but it was really, really good. Um, what I really liked about this book was the characters were really good. Um, the, um, it was basically about this monster, and they had really three stories. One was mainly about cult. And how this cult chanted to this un unnamed god. Particular, yeah. And they were chanting these weird words of Cthulhu and Riley and stuff like that. Um, the second story is about how they begin to like um, get in contact with this monster. And figure out also about this relic that they find. Um, and that has kind of a, you know, interesting shape and stuff. And the third story, um, short story, is about this ship that goes out to sail. And they actually see Cthulhu, and he rises from the, from the dead. They also talk about the old ones, Cthulhu and Riley. Now, um, now... This book is very classic, but it's like, it's a horror story, so it's kind of like, it's horror and suspense type thing. So if you ever watch, like, watched any mystery or, you know, read Stephen King maybe, you'd like this book. It's not really gory, although people die in it and stuff, it's not really gory in that way. It's more like it's a manuscript from something that actually happened and this guy goes nuts. Literally goes nuts. And he's having nightmares and delusions and all this stuff all because he is his faith in the old ones or Cthulhu. And Cthulhu basically eats them. Eats his you know people that worship him. So it's really an interesting concept and um, this um, stories, these stories have been throughout generations, they've been made into movies, they've been made into, you know, very, various other, um, you know, stories that they were inspired by other stories to, in, in other stories, and they were inspired by the Call of Cthulhu board game and the lot the um, not LARP, um, the rope, um, the dice game, um, the tabletop dice game. Um, and I really, I've played the, I think the table, I've played the, um, board game numerous times and I love it. Um, so I really related to this book. I think it's more for adults. So adults should read it, and I give this book, actually I give it, um, I would give this book, since I rated it, a 5 out of 5, but I would, I read it on my Kindle, so I'm going to rate it actually 10 out of 10, because I thought it was really well done. It was just really well done. The story captivated it me, it held my attention for hours, um, it was really interesting how they were kind of spooked out by this object and things and it was kind of like you wanted more and you wanted to know the answers but then when you got the answers you were like oh my gosh that's just crazy and it was um in the, in the end like you don't know if the character will survive or not survive so you kind of you know you it kind of is drawn to this conclusion that Maybe Cthulhu will come back. Maybe this monster will destroy the world. But we don't know. Um, so that's the review for Call of Cthulhu on my Kindle. 
the first book I am reviewing on my Kindle. So, um, by H.P. Lovecraft. Check it out, wherever you get books. Um, it is a very great, great and interesting story. So, um, thumbs up.